they go through. Um, CARE-L supports functions. I'm not going to talk about them. Um, but, and this site is, um, we have people working on the documentation site constantly, so it's pretty good. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And, yeah, that's a great idea. So, again, if there's something that you're trying to do and you have a question or you run into some, a problem, um, DevX is a great place to get help. And um, if the documentation is lacking at all, um, go to DevX and ask why certain syntax that you're trying isn't working. Um, we'll update the documentation to be a little bit more clear or, or maybe um, include more documentation uh, that's needed for whatever you're trying to do. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got this rule. Um, it's just going to run on Google search. It's going to run this pre block. I'm going to create a new variable called uh, Twitter results div. And the contents of that, the contents of that, it's just my div. And it's just going to say, Twitter search results. I'm giving it an ID so I can use it later of K results. And all that's going to do is we're going to use the after action, which just uses the, if you're familiar with jQuery, it just uses the jQuery um, uh, method of after. It takes a jQuery selector and puts uh, HTML in that, in that place. So, SSB is actually the way I found that was if you look at, if you view the source of this page and you drill in here, you can see that that's the SSB div right there. So what I want to do is I want to insert my div right after where it's showing up blue there and um, get that prepped up. And then what I want to do is in this rule, instead of showing it, sorry, I'm losing my cursor here. So I actually need this rule to fire before the other rule runs because I need that div to be there when the rule runs. So let me um, just quickly move this. Now, if you've used the old app builder, you know that you couldn't do that in the old app builder. You couldn't rearrange your rules. So having this in the editor makes this really easy. In fact, switching back and forth between the global and the rule and the meta is just so much easier now that it's all in one screen. And it really feels more like a, a good pro, uh, programming language. Okay. Yeah. So now instead of doing a notify here, what I want to actually do is insert my results into that div. So um, instead of using an after this time, I want to do an append. So what this will do is it'll look for that k result div. Oh man, the scroll on this is hard. The K results div that I planted earlier, and it's going to append each tweet inside of that div. So I think we're to a good point. I should save. Changed a lot of code all at once. So let's make sure. If anyone sees it, let me know. I've been told that we're going to make those error messages much more helpful. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I did? Yeah, when I copy in, so the entire body of your rule set is surrounded in brackets. And um, when I copied that bottom rule, I also copied that bottom bracket up. So that's what happened there. Let's go ahead and, and run this and see what, how it looks. Okay, not very pretty. So um, at, at this point, it might be nice to um, add some, some styling. But before I do that, instead of just dumping the text out here, I'm actually going to do a little bit more in my in my pre block. So what I've done, and, be, and during the development process, you would go through and you would refine this as you go. Um, I was really worried about time because I know you guys really want to hear Steve Gilmore. Um, but basically, what I'm doing here is I'm getting the text, I'm getting the picture URL, and I'm creating another div that I'm going to place inside of the div that I planned earlier that's going to just play those nicely. Um, so if I run this now, it will look slightly better. So it looks slightly better, but if we were to view the source code on this, We'd see that under SSB is our div that we plan in Kinetic Twitter, and then we'll see K results. We got a dump here. And it actually doesn't look like it put the div, and I think I know why. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to insert the tweet div instead of the picture. There. There's some interesting things going on here. Um, you see this, some people call this a beasting. I'm not sh exactly sure what you call it. But basically, this is how we inject variables into strings in KRL. Um, we're getting picture here as a string, and we can just put it uh, right in like that. The reason we have to do this is because, if you'll remember, this is all a big string. It just doesn't have the double quotes around it. We're using here docs instead. So um, keep that in mind. That's a gotcha. That if you if you're pulling out variables and you want to inject them into your string, you have to put them in this little b thing here. Okay, so that should give us our div. And we're running out of time. So what I want to do next to show you how to, to put CSS into the page. So I'm going to use the global block to do this because the global block runs first, and I want the CSS to apply to everything that I'm going to put in. So I spent quite a bit of time last night um, styling this, and it still looks horrible, but um, it looks a little bit better than what we have. And again, I do not want to type all this in front of you, so I will just copy and paste it in here. So this is what CSS... The C, oh, man, that scroll is hard. That's the C, what the CSS is going to look like. And basically, um, CSS is reserved here so that I can just use CSS and then give it a, another here doc, and then I can just put CSS just like, like I would in the HTML file. So I've got my styling for my... Kinetics Twitter results, a kinetics um, Twitter results image for each tweet.